So now let's start applying physics to all our components. Before that I have to create my platform and a fluid kind of effect in my application. So I'll be creating a platform. A platform is somewhere the components hit and uh, reflect the gravity kind of effect. So I'll be having a platform for my controls to roll over. So the platform will be black. Alright. So the platform is quite good. And my water body. So that my controls will float in this water body. I'll just give a nice blue color. And I'll just reduce the opacity. So that I can see the controls when it's entering inside the water. And floating. Okay. So let me just do some alterations over here. My path should be below rectangle so that the controls will float in rectangle and not reach pad. So now I'm going to apply the physics behaviors. So the first behavior what you have to apply is the physics controller behavior that will be applied to the root uh, and we have to check the mouse pick enable so that you can pick the controls with your mouse and next what you have to do is you have to apply physics object behavior to all the components that must react to the physics so you can just do like this also okay i'm going to add all to all my components and thing is the water body it should have a fluid kind of behavior so i'll just paste the fluid container behavior into it and the last one is the platform that's the background it should be stable and we have to apply physics object behavior to it we have to check is static so that this won't if get affected with the gravity that's been applied by the physics engine so let's go and play and see how it works <laughs> 